Hi, I'm Pastor Brian's wife, Cheryl, and this is... I'm Evelyn. And you are? Your granddaughter. Exactly. And we're here to read one of Evelyn's favorite books, and it's written by Carl Lafferton and illustrated by Catalina um, Echeverry, and it's called The Garden, The Curtain, and The Cross. So here we go. Let me open to the first page. A very long time ago, right here in this world, there was a garden. In the garden, everything was wonderful. The world was full of laughing and playing and smiling and fun. There was nothing bad ever. There was no one sad ever. And best of all, God was there. Hello, Adam. Hello, Eve. He had made it all. He was in charge of it all. He loved it all. People could see God and speak to God and just enjoy being with God. Eve, God's here. He wants to walk with us again. How cool is that? Yay! I bet it's going to be even more amazing than yesterday. It was wonderful to live with God. But then, one day, the people did a terrible thing. They decided they didn't want to do what God said. They decided they wanted a world without God in charge. God calls this sin. Sin spoils things. So sin has no place in God's wonderful garden. God said to the people, you can't live with me in my garden anymore. And he sent them outside to show the people they had to stay outside. God put some warrior angels in front of the garden. The angels were like a big keep out sign. They look like squirrel heads. A little bit, don't they? But they're actually angels, huh? They look weird. Well, okay. Now, why do they have swords? That's to keep people out. But they kill people. I think they just scare them. Yeah. Now, things were sometimes bad and people were sometimes sad. But people still kept sinning because they didn't want God to be in charge. So no one could come into God's wonderful place. God said, because of your sin, you can't come in. God wanted some people to remember, it is wonderful to live with him. But because of your sin, you can't come in. So he told the people to build a special building called his temple where he would live. In the middle of the temple was the most wonderful place in the world. The place where God was, with nothing bad and nothing sad. It was very exciting. But then God told the people to put a big curtain around this wonderful place. The curtain had pictures of warrior angels on it. It was a big keep out sign. For hundreds of years, the temple curtain reminded people that God said, it is wonderful to live with him, but because of your sin, you can't come in. Babies became grown-ups and had babies. And those babies became grown-ups and had babies. And those babies became grown-ups and had babies. Hundreds of summers and winters passed by, and the keep-out curtain stayed in the temple. Then one day, God's Son came to live in this world as a person. He was called... Jesus. Very good. Jesus always did what God said. Jesus never sinned. And Jesus visited the temple where the keep-out curtain hung. Jesus knew that things were sometimes bad and sometimes sad. Who's that, Jesus? I don't think so. I think it's just a little boy, but maybe. Jesus said that God had sent him to open the way back to God's wonderful place where there would be nothing bad and no one sad, but people still didn't want to let God be in charge. So they decided to put Jesus on a cross to die. It was the most bad thing that had ever happened. It was the most sad day of all time, but Jesus had a plan. He had always planned to die on the cross. What a strange plan. Why would God's son plan to die? Why would God's son plan to die? That is because that would make everyone and not sin again. On the cross, Jesus took our sins. 
all the bad things we do and all the sad things they cause. Jesus took them all from us. And when he did something amazing, astonishing, astounding happened. I almost got to turn. The curtain the opened. You think? Or did it? The curtain. What's that word right there? Toward. That's right. The curtain tore. God had ripped up the keep out sign. God's wonderful place is open again. Because Jesus died, we can go in. Very good. After Jesus died, his friends put him in a tomb. They were very sad. For two days, nothing happened. Then, the next morning, Jesus' friends went to see his body in the tomb. And it wasn't there. A little later on, Jesus' friends were all together. And suddenly, Jesus was there, alive. Suddenly, his friends weren't sad. Now they were so, so happy. God had brought Jesus back to life so that he could live in God's wonderful place forever. I don't know. This is your book. And Jesus had sent everyone an invitation to come and live with him there, too. He tells us, God says it is wonderful to live with him because of your sin, you can't come in. But I died on the cross to take your sin so all my friends can come in. Well, so all my friends can now come in. We can live with God forever. There will be nothing bad and no one sad. We will see God and speak to God and just enjoy being with God just as he planned. It will be wonderful to live with him. And it's all because of Jesus. Very good. We will say every day, thank you, Jesus. You're amazing. And you can start saying that. When can we start saying that? Read that word for me. Today. Let's say it. Today. How about let's say it together. Ready? Today. Today. Thank you for joining us.